delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Pepper? Yes. More cake, please. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Pepper. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <Grrr. laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> 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 the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> Carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting. To pounce! Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, ho Lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. <laughs> Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> These baskets can be your shells. There. Now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat up all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Grandpa Pig. 
Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Pepper and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> 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 we were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. I know. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> Oh, dear. George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then, you wriggle around. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> I'm a little butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Yes, Pepper, you're a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Grandpa, George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> 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 that was fun. What animal do you want to be now? Hmm, I don't know. <coughs> Look, Grandpa, there's a little frog. <coughs> Why don't you play at being frogs? Hmm, frogs are not as pretty as butterflies or as wiggly as worms. <laughs> To make the head. <laughs> now the scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr. Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. <laughs> George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr. Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic! Mr. Scarecrow is ready. Hooray! <laughs> the little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look, the little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr. Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked. Mr. Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Hooray! Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. 
Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I've brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? Come on, birdies. Lunchtime. Now the birdies have their own seeds to eat. Hooray! The little birds are happy again. <laughs> Peppa is glad that Grandpa Pig's seeds will not be eaten. But she is even more glad that the little birds will not be hungry. <laughs> <laughs>